Hello guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can take the input from the user in PHP using the form and how you can print the result on web page. For this, I will have to create two different documents. One is HTML document and the second one will be the PHP. So let's start. I am creating a program like this in which you can see here. Here you can see select the type of the car. So you will select any of the cars, for example, Ford, Volkswagen, Tata or Chevrolet. And suppose Chevrolet has been selected and color is, let's say it is black. So I will submit this form. It will show me the result like this. Your selected car is Chevrolet and the color of car is black. So now for this, we will go here into Visual Studio Code. And here, first of all, I will create the HTML document. And after this, I will create another document which is having extension .php. So I will create two different documents. First of all, let's just save it using HTML extension. So I will save it as and I will save it again same here into my XAMPP folder. Inside the XAMPP folder, you can see my XAMPP folder is in a local disk C. And inside the XAMPP folder here, I am having HTML docs and Inside HTML docs, I have created PHP folder. So here I will create it and uh, you can refer to my first video of PHP. I have shown it in full detail that how you will save those files and where will you save those files. So car HTML dot HTML. So this is uh, the name I have given and I'll save it. So now uh, I will create the document and here inside the body first of all i will have to create the form so for the form i will write here form and inside this form i will create the drop down list and to create the drop down list i will write here select and inside the select i will write options so inside option first option i will give Suppose my first car is uh, BMW. In the similar way, I can have the second car, third car and so on. So here I will give the value also. Why this value I am giving? Whenever I want to send the information to the server, then server will read this value, not actually this one. And the value is I am giving it as BMW. In the similar way, I will copy it and I will make other options and here I will change their name for example here so now uh, I have created a drop, drop down list and after this I will take the user input for the color of the car so I will write here input input type is equal to text and here I will close it after this I will create a button for submit I will write input type is equal to submit but I will have to take all those values to somewhere else means on my PHP page so for this I will have to give some identification to all these for example, if I talk about this list, I will have to give it uh, some identifier. So I will give an identifier to it and I will write here name and I will give it any name. So I can give it name as car list. After this, uh, here also I will have because I will have to take this input which in which the user will write the, the color. I will have to take it to the PHP page. So that is why here also I will have to give any identify to it and I will name it and the name can be color and after this because you can see here this drop down list as well as this input and this submit button this whole is present inside the form so how I will transfer this form on PHP for this I will use two things one is method so I will write here method and I will write here post Whenever the submit button is clicked, this post will take the, the whole information present in the form, 
which is filled by the user to the PHP page. So this is what the function of post is. And after this, I will use one more thing. I want to tell it where to post this information. So where I need to post, I will need to post it to the, uh, to, to a particular PHP page and what that PHP page will be. So for this, I will write here action. And after action, I will write the name of that PHP page on which this whole information of this form should go after the submit button is clicked. So here I will give the name of that PHP page. So I will uh, create a new page here, new file I will create. So let's name it and it must be having the extension .php. So, so I will save it and uh, I will give it name as you can see here again I have saved it into the same document into the same folder which is PHP folder inside HTML docs of HD docs of XAMPP so I will name it as car PHP dot I will have to give it an extension of PHP so I have named it as car PHP dot PHP so I will save it and after saving it you can see here I have given it name car php dot php so I, I want to transfer this information of this form to this car php dot php so I will write inside the action I will write car php dot php so this is how I will now take the information of this form into that page so now let's create this page also it will receive the information which is available here so this car.php we will go here and here also I will write HTML and inside the body I will write here I will create a variable because here I will take information from two things first I will take the information of any one car which the user will select from this drop down list and the second information I want from this text which the user will use to put the color of the car so I will take the information from these two so for that what I will do is I will create a variable here which will take that input which has been given by the user so I will create any variable here I will give it name as selected selected car and now here I will write dollar then underscore then I will write here post and after this I will use this square bracket here why the square bracket because the information which will come to me is an array now so that is why I will insert this square bracket here and inside the square bracket I will write this name which I have given to this drop down list I have given the name as car list so it will take the input from this drop down list which is named as car list so I will write here car list and I will put it into quotes after this I will insert semicolon and in the similar way I want the color which a user has typed so I will write here dollar and then I will write here car color okay I will give any name to this variable and it will also take the value which has been given by the user that is using dollar underscore again post and you will receive it using dollar underscore post and after that again square bracket because it will come to you in the form of array and you will write here from where it will come it will come to you from here and its name is given as color so I will write here color inside the quotes and after this I want the result so to get the result I will write here echo and after echo I will write the selected car is what the selected car is this one which which uh, I will get from HTML document and it has been stored in this variable so I will write this variable here so the selected car is dollar select 
connected car and its color is its color will be given by the user so uh, that is uh, stored inside this variable and this variable i will write here dollar car color so this is how i will get the result now let's see what i have got so for this uh, first of all you save what have you done and here also for html you save this one and after this we will go to the web page but first of all you will have to start your xamp so uh, you can see here it is already started and uh, if it is not started by you you can start it from here and after starting it you go to your browser and inside your browser you write here localhost and in localhost you can see i have this php folder in which i have inserted those things and i had made car html dot html and i had made car php dot php so i will open car html dot html uh, which will open my form so here you can see i have opened it so bmw has been written here by default but i don't want uh, here to write bmw because here you can see in the beginning i had shown you here you can see the select the type of car has been written and here by default here by default what has been written you can see here if i again open that so it was like this you can see select has been written here any default co car color name ha color has uh, any default car has not been selected here uh, select has been written but you can see here here already BMW has been written but I don't want this and I also want uh, here select the type of car to be written and color to be written but here these are not visible so here uh, I will have to make some uh, additions into my program so I will go to car html dot html and here first of all I will write here select the car name and after this here also i want to write color of car and after this i also want here something as default which is select so what i will do here i will copy this one and i will paste it here again and instead of bmw i will write here select and here also I will write select but now also it may take any of these but I want what I, I want only this select to be shown when nothing has been selected so for this what I will do here after the value I will write here selected and after this I will save it and when I will save it now I have used selected here and this selected I have written so by default it will select only this select here in the drop down list. So again I will go here and I will refresh it and when I will refresh it you can see here select the car name and here by default it has written select not any car name and here color of the car. So I will select any of the cars now let's say if I select Chevrolet here and color of car I selected let's say blue and I will submit it when I will submit it you can see the selected car is Chevrolet and its color is blue. So I hope you like my video have a nice day goodbye.